guys see welcome back to another episode on how to cut and so today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut this lovely turtleneck body all you can see so the fabric we use here is the lacquer fabric let's go to the cutting section welcome to the cutting section so i'm making use of this lacquer fabric to cut out this tie i'm using one and a half yard of lacquer fabric to cut it out so what you have to know first is to know where um the the stretching part of this lacquer fabric is so you can see this particular lacquer fabric is stretching at both ends you can see so i can use any side of the lacquer fabric so before you can cut this particular style you have to know your measurement the main measurement so from that main measurement you're going to deduct um two inches away and you are not going to add a seam allowance to it at all so now i'll go ahead and fold it into four this is into two already you can see then i'm going to fold it into four i've gone through a lot before i could able to fold this lacquer for you know lacquer fabric normally um difficult to fold so the next thing here is to take the length the length here is 26 inches and it's 26 inches with the same allowance yeah you know is the length so we have to add a same allowance to it you can see now so don't mind the chalk it's not going to write on lacquer so by the time i i i cut it out you're going to see it properly then the next thing is to take the shoulder measurement the shoulder here is should be eight then I make use of seven just to reduce the wideness of the shoulder. But by the time you wear it, it's going to stretch. The shoulder stand of one inch. That's what I'm making use of. Then at the ammo, it's supposed to be eight. I'm making use of seven as well, seven inches. Then at the bust line, it's supposed to be 40. I'm making use of 38. That's minus two inches. So that is a uh, 9.5 inches in four places it's going to give us 38 inches so i'm going to notch it out as well you can see it now so the next thing here is to take the uh, half cut the half cut here is 15 inches 15 inches for the half cut and here is it so the waist measurement is supposed to be 30 and make it of 28 inches that is minus um two inches that is seven inches in four places to give us um, 28 inches so after taking the waist measurement, you connect it off to the bust line, then to the full length of the dress. You can see. Then the next thing here is to cut it out. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is um the neckline. To take the neckline and don't forget it's a total neckline so don't let the neckline to be too wide so i'll be making it of 2.5 inches here for the wideness of my neck and for the back i'm making use of um one inch then i'm going to cut it out like this then i'm going to take one of these away which is going to be the back then i'm going to load the front neckline with one inch to make the front neckline to be two inches deepness you can see now it's another one inch then i'm going to connect it by cutting it out so after this now the nice thing here is to cut out is the sleeve so i'm making use of these um pieces to cut it out this particular one so I'm going to fold this into four for both sleeves. You can see. Then I'm going to take the length of my sleeve. The length of my sleeve is going to be 24 inches with the seam allowance. So this is 24 inches. You can see. So the nice thing here is to take the um the wideness of seven inches so this is okay for me so i want to sketch out the 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 shape of the sleeve so 
so I'm just taking some inches down maybe like two inches I'm connecting it like this then to give us the shape of the sleeve but there's no how I can write on this um, fabric so by the time I cut it out this way you're going to see it properly so you can see what we're having here the shape of the sleeve is here then to the full length of this sleeve but before then you have to take the redness of this area so I'm making use of um, that's the redness of the uh, lower part of the sleeve so I'm making use of four inches and I'm connecting it up to that seven inches you can see by the time I'm stitching it I'm still going to um, make it firm so then I'll not cut out the excess so here is it you can see it now you can see what we have it this is the sleeve so the nice thing here is to um, cut out the straight cut that is going to be on the neckline for the turtleneck the straight cut so here is it i'm making use of this um leftover you can see that i'll fold it into two then after the folding i'll start to take the wideness the wideness i'm making use of here is 2.5 inches the half inch is going for the same allowance and the two inches is going for the neck band to make it a, um, a turtleneck you can see now So after this now, I'll not take the length. The length I'm making use of here, I'm making of 16 inches length, which is not going to be the redness of the neck because we don't know yet. Until we join our shoulder, that's when we're going to know the redness of the neck. So after now when I join my shoulder and I see that it's um, the 16 inches is much, I'm going to trim it out. So here is the band now, you can see so i'm going to keep this aside as well so we have done with the cutting this is the body the sleeve you can see the sleeve then the band so let me go and join all this and show it to you welcome back hey the finished work so far you can see how beautiful our body up to neck is you can see the process of the cutting so what you have to do here is to join the shoulder first then you join your sleeve to it then you take the shape, it, yeah. Then you tape it at the damp part of the top. Then you add your um your band to the neckline. If you are watching me for the first time, yeah, the right place to be. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials. And for those people that have already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys for watching me always. See my next tutorial. Bye.